Hello everybody, it is Tommy with A Better Time, and uh, I got a really cool watch. The uh, We just got this, um, I don't know, maybe uh, about a week ago, and uh, it's already got a lot of people checking this thing out online. Doesn't surprise me, because this is just such an iconic watch. This is a, uh, this is a watch that just recently was reissued by the company that made it, and usually... When that happens, it's because it's a really cool watch. Bulaba. This is a, obviously, it's still, um, it's got the original boxing papers. This right here is a 1971 Bulaba Oceanographer Snorkel Devil Diver. Now, this watch is called a Devil Diver because uh, there was a competition going on basically among waterproof watches, and 600 feet was. Uh, what everything was water resistant to and Bulaba wanting to beat that uh, took their waterproof to 666 feet and of course with the 666 um, it caught the uh, nickname the devil diver the uh, this watch is absolutely gorgeous see the dial there all original no uh, scratching on the crystal now it has been sitting in the case. We'll give this a little wind to uh, get the mechanical movement started. And uh, you will see a beautiful sweep second hand. It's a very, very, here I go again, shaking. It's a heavy watch. It's got a very, very beautiful sweep second hand. The movement is just incredible. It has a uh, date feature and uh, still functioning absolutely perfect. It has a uh, cushion case that is large. This thing is over 40 millimeters. I'm gonna check to be 100% sure, but I wanna say that it is in the ballpark of either 41 or 42. Let me get the calipers out here. Um, of course, all that is always written on the, uh, you know, on the listing, but uh, Yeah, and you know, it's actually right at 40. So it is a 40 millimeter case, which for 1971, I mean, that's Rolex Submariner size. So it was a, a big watch in 1970, 71. But you can see the snorkel, 666 feet, 666 feet. Devil Diver, it's on the original bracelet, um, and which is still in great shape. The, uh, the watch is just good size. Right, beautiful old plexi on the uh, on the crystal, and this is a watch that just um, the gentleman that we purchased this from said he was the second owner of it. He traded uh, something to the individual to get this watch, and wore it, loved it, and uh, just decided to move on for the purpose of getting something else, which happens a lot in vintage. Right, you sell off one watch in the uh, to get another. You see the price still on that watch? It still has the price on there, $100. As you can see, the box is still in great shape. And also with that came all of the uh, original paperwork as well, all the original documents. The, uh, the deep water guarantee. This is, by the way, not brochures. This is how the paperwork was done then. Um, this is sort of the instructions, how to set the calendar date. And then this is the... Uh, original owner's guide and this owner's guide I can't tell you how much fun this is to read I'm just gonna get you a couple of excerpts because it's cool your new bulova took nine months to be born what took it so long it takes time to make time especially the reliable time your bulova watch promises to give you from this day forward it is not an empty promise either not with the amount of care and uh, skill that went into creating your bulova watch our engineers and our designers combined old world knowledge uh, with new space age technology to create the Bulova Excellence Collection. We consider your Bulova watch to be one of the finest we have ever made. We've been making quality watches for over 90 years. So that says quite a lot. Now, of course, this was 1971, right? So uh, it's, uh, they were making quality watches. It says your Bulova was inspected up to 800 times. They had 800 quality uh, uh 
control checks on this watch in 1971. And I'll tell you what, they did a great job because the watch is still keeping immaculate time and uh, still has retained its absolute beautiful look. And fortunately, the uh, the original owner of this kept everything. You know, you got the, the, the documentation, the box, the papers, the warranty, all of that. So um, there's nothing really much better than getting it with a box and papers, especially when you're doing vintage because it just really says some beautiful stuff. It talks about how some parts in your bulba are precision made of a tolerance up to one ten thousandth of an inch. People, that's splitting a hair 30 times in half, 30 times. Uh, they talk about using jewels twice as hard as stainless steel and how a lot of other watch companies used cheaper stuff in the, in the, uh, the jewels, but Bulba did not. Um, they used 20 different types of metals in the uh, construction of this. They diamond milled the crystal, which is uh, kind of a cool concept. And the dial of your Bulova got a beauty treatment with special kinds of uh, chemicals to ensure that over time, this watch would remain looking as beautiful as it did day one. Tell you what, here we are all of those years later and that dial is still looking about as pristine as it did the day that this thing left the shop when the man bought it in 1971. Uh, another very unusual thing, when we took the back off of this watch, um, as most of you know, when somebody works on a watch, um, they take the back off and they do any kind of uh, repair or anything, you etch something in there. Some people just put a date, some people put their, uh, their code or their number or their name, whatever, and very often, whatever part was replaced, right? So if, if they, you know, uh, replaced, you know, something to do with the canyon pinion, there will be a part listing in there for the number that they replaced. This watch had never had the back off of it. And they told us that prior to us buying it. But when we cracked the seal on this, and we put a new rubber gasket in and all that, but when we cracked the seal on it, there was not one mark on the inside of this, uh, this case. And uh, we have a picture of the movement uh, in there as well as you to look at. But this thing is just... And uh, it didn't re require um, a whole lot of anything other than just a, uh, a good cleaning and, some, and uh, you know, put a, some, uh, some brand new lubricant on there. And this thing is going to run, I would imagine, you know, another 100 years. It's got uh, about 50 in it now. It may, it may run for eternity if you take good care of it. This is a beautiful watch. And they're reissuing it, people, because it is just that iconic. Um, so you could go buy a... Uh, a brand new version of this with a movement that was made somewhere other than Switzerland, or you could uh, get the original. This um, this watch, box papers, the entire shooting match out the door, you can have it for $2,500. Uh, I would suggest that you look around the internet and try to find one of these in this condition, let alone with box and papers, but try to find one in this good a condition anywhere on the net, and if you can, Taking the uh, the fact that this has uh, all of its original box and documentation and uh, 2500 is an opportunity to continue this story. You will be um, the third owner of this watch, unless I guess you count us. But unfortunately, I'm not even wearing this thing. I would love to take this thing and put it on my wrist, but because of the condition of it, uh, I'm not even wearing it around the uh, the office. I want to pass this thing on to whoever gets it next and, uh, and we're doing... Uh, we're treating this thing like a baby because it uh, it's just, it's a piece of art. And I'll tell you something else. $100 was a lot of money for a watch in uh, 1971. And if you think I'm kidding, why don't you Google and find out what Rolex was charging for watches in 1971. And it'll give you some pretty decent perspective on just what, uh, how expensive this Bulba was in 1971. So just to reiterate one last time. This is, it's a snorkel devil diver, it's the oceanographer from Bulba, 1971, box and docks, the whole shooting match, $2,500 or make us an offer, uh, and we look forward to hearing from you. You got any questions or anything else, you let us know. I am Tommy, with a better time, and we'll see you on the next watch. God bless.